All right, guys, what is good? Welcome back to a brand new video. So guys, I'm gonna record this one from my phone to make it a little bit quick, simple, and all of that. Anyways, as you guys know, I have went through so many different mice here on the channel, and uh, I've just got a few throughout on my gaming desk here. We're still remodeling the gaming room, so hey, please look over the mess. But what I wanna talk to you guys about are different types of mice and what I have found to be the top number one best mice that I enjoy using. So first off, let's just go through them here. This one here is your Logitech uh, Pro Wireless. Now this mouse here, it's not heavy at all. And I mean, it's just, it's perfect. And I think it's got a good slide to it when it's on, you know, a mouse pad. So we'll just step it over here. It has got like the perfect glide to it. Now, is it the best? Mm, probably not. But like I said, I don't find it to be, you know, too heavy and I don't find it to be too light, I guess is the words for it. As you see here, you can change your DPI settings. Uh, I'm not really happy about the skates on it. And there's your power button. Now, keep in mind that Logitech does sell some really, really great stuff like uh, they got the new Logitech. Uh, this is the um, C920, but this is like the 920S, I think it is. So it's a pro they got a lot of different things out on the market. Now this mouse here, I have, you know, found it very, very helpful and useful during certain types of gameplay. Now, if you put your hand over it like this, it does like set right in like dead center of the hand. That part I did like, but I don't like as far as the buttons. Now, which it does turn out to be that you can use this left hand or you can use it for right. And it does come with extra, you know, little tabs that you put there for the buttons, you know, it just depends on if you're a left hand or a right handed person. Now, the only thing that I don't like is the way that it sets, you know, like on the side for your thumbs. As far as myself, when I play Apex Legends, I love to use my thumb button right here that I just showed you guys. I love to use this button right here, for example, if I need to, you know, um, I think I have that actually set to, what is it? Maybe, I could be wrong, I think it's my punch button. So it's like uh, my actual uh, melee whenever I want to punch or whatever. But the top one up here at the very top, this one is actually set to, you know, pop a grenade or something like that. So as far as this mouse, I just feel like it's not the best for Apex Legends. This, I could see it being more, I don't know, Fortnite or something. Now, let's talk about this mouse here. This is the Glorious Model O Wireless. Yes, it does have the cable on it because it's on charge, but if you turn it around and you flip it up, the cable will just pull out right there, okay? Now, look, speaking of the bottom of it, it does have some really decent skates on the bottom, and as far as the glide, which I don't know if it'll glide too well with this, but it's got the perfect glide, as you can see. Like, it's just, I don't know. I'm very, very happy about Glorious, but let's talk about a few things. Now, Glorious, as far as like, it's longer and it does fit your hand, but when it comes to the hump, let's try to compare the two. I just feel like Logitech put a little more hump in theirs. So whenever it comes out, like actually filling in the palm of your hand, then Logitech does have it beat. So if you're looking for the fill in, then of course, you know, the Logitech would be the way to go. But if you're looking for the longness right here, if you got big hands like myself, then this right here is perfect. Now the button, I think the button layout is perfect. The glide, everything is just perfect with the Glorious Model O. Like I said, you can get this uh, wired or wireless. You don't have to choose wireless. It does have a program. The software is kind of hard to download, depends on which one you download. But if you need help with that, I did make a video on it. And it's actually simple if you do it the way that my video shows because some people do have a hard time with it. You can get this mouse uh, anywhere between 50 to 60 bucks. Some people have it very, very overpriced. But if you buy it straight from Glorious themselves, you'll pay anywhere between 40 and 50 bucks for it. Very, very worth the money. Now, let's go ahead, talk about, let's go back over here. Talk about another one. This here is your Razer Viper Ultimate. Of course, I got it on the charging cable here. It is uh, plugged into my PC, as you see up here, because it's on charge. And uh, it does come on the um, charging dock. It changes colors. You can set it up any way you want. You can actually um, see on the bottom that it has some really, really nice skates. You can make it 100% USB. You know, you don't even have to mess around with the little dongle piece. You can actually unplug that or you can just keep the dongle piece in here. Keep that plugged into your PC and use it that way. The skates are absolutely amazing and it does charge from this. 
and you can actually uh, change the color on the mouse as well. You can actually buy the grips for this, and this comes in the Cyberpunk edition. You can also get this in white. Uh, I think it's white and gray a little bit, and it also comes in a pink version and the black version you see here. Now, Razer makes some really, really good products, um, also including their Razer Kayo camera, which um, I do have it somewhere right here. Let's see here, we can take a look at the camera. So this is the Razer Kayo. They did recently make the new uh, Razer Kayo Pro. I think that's how they say the name of it. And it's an absolutely amazing camera. It does have the uh, light ring, you know, built into it. So I do like that mode about it. And you can actually just put it on a tripod, mount it. You know, it does open up right here and you can put it onto a monitor, anything you want. But this mouse here, it doesn't have the full little hump that we're talking about, you know, like this much. It doesn't have the fill in, but it is perfect. As far as the little clicks here, this is the mouse, man, I'm telling you. Now, back to the buttons. This button here and this one, it falls back to the Pro Wireless as to where it doesn't stick out that much. And that is an issue whenever, you know, it comes down to it as far as with me. But as far as anything to do with this mouse, man, this mouse is absolutely amazing. You can go in and you can set the DPI up, you know, right here. Then that's the power button. But this is a great mouse. So if you're looking for a great mouse, pick that one up. I think Best Buy has it for like $149, $169. But I bought it for 100 bucks when I got it. But let's talk about the mouse that has recently dropped with Razer. And it's about $70. $69.99. Very small. Some people say it different. I call it the Razer Arachi. Some people call it the Arachi. It's whatever you want to call it. The Razer Arachi V2 is what we're going to call it. Absolutely amazing. It does come with a USB dongle. The little dongle does come right there. And you can actually choose to put, I have another video on this, but you can choose to put a double A or a triple A inside of it. And of course, the battery size does change the weight of it just a little bit. So if you put a double A in, it gets a little bit heavier. And then a triple A makes it a little bit lighter. But that's beside the point. This mouse, you can actually get it to where you can customize it. You can get it to where your favorite streamers out there like Courage, uh, anybody from 100 Thieves, all of them. You can get it made to where it's customized with their name on it. Or you can get this in multiple colors over on Razer. If you actually click on the link, that is always done in the description as far as the people that actually partner me. I do have a link to where you can get a discount on purchasing anything through that link uh, from Razer because I am sponsored by Razer. The video is not sponsored, but myself is sponsored. Now, this mouse here does come with these bigger skates on it. And of course, it is smaller and you can go Bluetooth 2.4, all of that. And, you know, you don't really have to worry about a charging cable with this one, but it is perfect. Now, let's talk about the little hump. All right, so the little hump fill-in, it does come all the way up. It is a fill-in. Now, if you're somebody with big hands like myself, you may think, I don't want this mouse because it is too small. You're absolutely wrong. This mouse is killing it, and it is perfect. And as far as your thumb buttons, dude, they stick out so far that this is literally the mouse that you want. Now, if you compare these two together, you can actually see that the buttons actually stick out a lot further on the Razer Arachi than it does on the Viper Ultimate. So, guys... I highly suggest you picking this up. You can change the DPI settings up here. The scroll wheel, oh my God, is absolutely amazing on this one. And the scroll wheel is a little bit tighter on this one. Now back to these two. The scroll wheel is about the same on this one as it is the Razer uh, Viper. And then the one on the Pro Wireless, I can honestly say it's probably got the best scroll wheel other than this one here. This Razer is absolutely out of control but in a good way it was so nice i picked up the second one tonight guys listen as y'all know i'm going with the whole miami theme in my room we are changing the mouse pad i did order the new gutsy aiden and low edition if you don't know who low is he is a youtuber right here he's a tiktoker and a twitch streamer check him out he's a valorant junkie for one but he's got all kinds of videos but my mouse pad is starting to get dirty the one that i got from um 
Aiden and uh, I like it but as you see it's getting really really dirty just from our hands and all of that but I know it can be washed and of course I'm gonna wash it I do have the gutsy Aiden and Danny Dorito one but I've not put it out yet because it's actually gonna go over here on the other side of the table to where I still have a mess at because I got a lot to still clean up in here but this is the mouse we're gonna be using from here on now we're gonna keep the black one as a little backup but it's time to pull out the new white edition. I'm super, super excited about it, and uh, I can't wait to see what it looks like. So with one hand here, we're gonna try to get it out of the box, okay? Let's see if I can do this, all right? Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to put my phone on a stabilizer so you guys can watch. So if the stabilizer turns out to be absolutely crazy, hey, don't be mad at me, guys. I'm trying, all right? All right, like I said, I've got an absolute mess here but we're gonna get it give me just a second sorry this video is absolutely crazy okay but i wanted to share this with you guys so let's try to go ahead and pop this i did pick this up at uh, best buy in jackson tennessee now yeah like i said you can order this online you can pick it up at a local store you um, you can even buy these online at gamestop if you shop with GameStop or if you shop in-store, I don't know if they have any in-store. I know the one um, at our GameStop, they do have them inside the store. And you may actually catch it on sale. So you got the box and of course you got the razor little pamphlet. It does got the little tab or the clear piece around it. And uh, you flip it open like that and uh, some, there it is. I was gonna say there's some stickers in it somewhere. So y'all know how razor works. But inside, hey, you do get a battery with it, so at least appreciate that. All right, so let's open this bad baby up. And let's take a look. The new white razor. This thing is super duper clean. I love it, guys. I freaking love it. And if you want to find the little USB piece, you just pop off the top, and it's going to be inside. So when you pick this up please don't feel like it was failure and you don't have your usb piece to all the new ones out there that are actually just now starting to get into computer stuff but you are going to get an energizer look at that guys it's even name brand you can't beat that and it is a double a that you get with it so it is going to make it a little bit heavier i'm going to pop it down in there there it is and then you flip it over and there it is Got the light blinking on it to let us know that it's ready. Now this does not light up. That's the only thing Razor didn't do. They didn't make it to where it lights up like that one. But hey, I like the white and black look of it. Now I wished it was like pink or something. That would have been sick, but I'm not gonna complain. I would have taken, you know, white and blue, but I love how the aesthetics of the two look compared to each other, but they're both great mice. I promise if you pick this up on the market and you're disappointed, then you can be super mad at me, but I don't think you'll be disappointed. We gifted my friend T-Pain352, which he is here on uh, YouTube, and he is also a Twitch streamer. We gifted him one of these He was for Father's Day, and he was very, very happy with it. So reach out to him, ask his opinion, and hey, reach out to others and get their opinion. Other than that, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, if you're new to my channel, hey, I appreciate you stopping in. Don't forget to drop a like on the video, guys, if you've enjoyed this video. Uh, it would mean a lot to me. Please hit the share button. Make sure you share it with others, especially my number one haters, so they'll continue to be my number one motivators. And hey, make sure you ring the pretty little bell so that way you're notified and you don't miss any of the content when we drop it here on the channel. Guys, thanks for watching. And as always, trippy up. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.